The kids are out and I'm just trying to get everything done. It's crazy how much you rely on something until it doesn't work anymore. Somebody was in my car and took something. and welcome to another video so today is going to be another one of those days where the kids are out and I'm just trying to get everything done I managed to clean up this room before they left and I just quickly hoovered it because um, I just needed to but I have loads to do I'm trying to get some editing done while they're gone I need to hoover the stairs there's a basket on top of the stairs that I need to sort out there's things that I need to take upstairs the bedroom and the bathroom need tidying and also there's like washing up and the extension room. So I have a lot to get done. I don't know if I'm gonna get most of it done, but we'll see how it goes. Right now, I want to get this editing done. I know this is gonna take a little while, but I wanna get at least half of it done and then I will move on to something else. So the editing is all done, okay? By the way, this stick is here because I was filming some recipe videos for my IGTV and this is the best way I could get the best view. I don't know if they've come out good because I haven't edited them yet. But I'm about to make myself a coffee and also tidy up the kitchen a little bit because it is a mess in here and I need a coffee. So kettle is going on and then while that's boiling, I'm just gonna sort out this mess. There's also some clothes on the floor down here which I'm going to put a light wash on because there's a big blanket in here which needs to be washed so I'm going to add some light coloured clothes to this wash and put that on so one wash is out of the way. So that's all done. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that my wrist has been hurting so bad. I've tried to use a wrist support, but it's just not helping at all. I've been taking painkillers, not helping. So I really just don't know what to do about it. So if you have any suggestions for a wrist that hurts every time you move, like if I move my hand back like this, it really hurts. So I'm trying not to put as much pressure on it as I normally would. Like I'm thinking about hoovering the stairs, but I would use my left hand. I don't know like I do everything with this hand so it's so hard being not being able to do things like picking up the kids or putting washing out and you like when you shake the clothes to put them on the area I don't know it's crazy how much you rely on something until it doesn't work anymore like when you've got a blocked nose and you're like oh my gosh remember the days when I could breathe properly this is like that where I'm just like oh my god I didn't realize how much I actually use my hand for things so I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to get things done with pain going on. So, wish me luck. Anyway, carrying on with the cleaning. So that's pretty much done. I'm gonna make myself a coffee, iced coffee. I'm feeling like something really nice and strong and sweet and delicious. So that's what I'm gonna do. Please ignore this. <laughs> I thought I'd show you how I make my iced coffee again. Two teaspoons of instant coffee, two teaspoons of sugar. I only have sugar when I'm having iced coffee, which is not great, but it's okay. It's not every day that I have iced coffee. And then I literally put a little bit of water in there just so enough to dissolve whatever is in there you just want to make sure all of the coffee is dissolved you can add a bit more water if you want 
but you want to add as little water as possible just because it is hot now that that is all dissolved i'm going to add some milk to this so i'm going to add about that much milk not full because we're going to add some ice and that is going to top it off so that is that now for the ice we i'm going to use a whole ice cube tray i'm going to use my ninja blender this is my favorite thing ever i use it for everything literally everything i'm going to put all of the ice in there and then I'm going to put some of this, not all of it, I don't know why, I just feel like it blends better when you've got less. So about a quarter to about a half, I think that'll be fine. And then, lid on and go. And then you want to pour that back into the glass. there is your iced coffee so perfect so strong so lovely mm, I'm gonna enjoy this get yourself a reusable straw I love this coffee so much I could drink it like six times a day but of course I have to restrain myself don't want to waste any I'm gonna go drink this in the other room while I sort out the rest of my editing. I'm gonna put it onto my phone, I'm going to put it onto Instagram. So you guys will see that today, but the other day. So that is now live. If you haven't already seen this video, it's how to make currant coffee. It was in my previous vlog before I uploaded this, but I thought I would do it on Instagram so that it's easy to access for anybody who wants to use it. But anyway, so that is all done. Now I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Oh my gosh, guys, it even hurts to pick things up just like this, it's crazy. But yeah, I'm going to do the stairs, go up the stairs and do things upstairs. So let's go. I'm about to hoover the stairs first before I go up and I'm going to be using my new shark vacuum which is amazing. Let me show you how good this is to vacuum the stairs, okay? So all you do is press this button here with your foot and it comes off like that and then you can just set it down anywhere so it's okay. And then this can just go to the side for a while. You can take this pole off here so that you've got just this attachment which is great for just doing the stairs and then it's got different attachments as well which I'm going to be using for the stairs and then this part here you can take this off as well so you've got this part this is for sofas upholstery type things um, I'm going to try it with this and see how it works I absolutely love this hoover. I'm so grateful that I was able to be sent this. Alhamdulillah for everything. A lot of people are saying that the shark vacuum cleaners are heavy, but I think that if it's heavy, it means it's good quality and it works really well. And that's what this does. It's so good. I love it. I'm not even being paid to say any of this, but I just really love this hoover. It's just so good. I love how it's got the lift away thing. It's so much easier than having to lug around the whole thing all the time. But anyway, I'm gonna go take this pile of stuff upstairs, I'm going to sort that out, sort upstairs out a little bit, and then I'm going to have a shower and pray. So that's what the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that back. So 
So I am now upstairs, I've got to sort this pile out. There's loads of clothes and stuff that I dried and need to be put away, so I'm just gonna sort it all out and then I'm gonna move on to the next thing. Also going to be putting on my audiobook now that I've stopped hoovering. I'm going to be listening to The Productive Muslim, still got a little bit of it left, but it's so good. I feel like I've listened to so many parts of it more than once, I don't know. If, when I put it on in my car, it kind of goes back or something, I don't even know, but I'm gonna listen to some of this now. I'm gonna put a link to Audible down below if you wanna download it and listen to things. Um, I really, really, really recommend this book. If you feel like you could be more productive and wanna get more stuff done, this book is so good. Um, it helps so much, especially if you are looking at life through an Islamic point of view, then this is highly, highly recommended. I'll leave a link to Audible down below if you wanna sign up for a free trial, so. I'm gonna listen to this while I do this. So this area is all tidy now. I'm gonna jump in the shower, have a shower, and then I'm gonna pray Zohar because it is two o'clock nearly and I need to pray. So I'm gonna go get in the shower, get all that done. See you in a little bit. So the kids came back while I was in the shower. So I basically didn't film anymore. Um, but I thought I would film the rest of the day because we are headed out to go to my brother's house. So I thought I would just vlog the rest of the day. So keep watching if you're interested in that. So I'm just about to put a little bit of makeup on because I just feel so dead right now. I just want to wake myself up a little bit. So yeah, just, you can watch me do that if you want. <laughs> And that is all the makeup that I'm gonna do. <laughs> Hardly anything, but never mind. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just head to my brother's house now. So whenever I take the kids anywhere, in the evening especially, I take a pair of pyjamas each and I fold them this new way, which I got from Emily Norris. I'm gonna do this again because it's all falling out. So I'll show you how I do it. And that is how you fold clothes like that. So I'm gonna put these in the changing bag and then we're gonna go. Do 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 do
So guys, it's a few days later now and I just thought I would fill you in on something random that happened on that day that you just saw. So we got into the car to head to Coventry. I noticed that the glove box was open and I thought it was Elisa just because she plays with the glove box sometimes. Everything was on the passenger seat so I was like, very weird. So I just thought it was Elisa so I put it all back and then I noticed that the change drawer on the right hand side of the steering wheel was open and there was no change in there which normally there's like two or three pounds um just just in case if i need to use it for the trolley or something like that so then i was like okay someone might have like broken into the car or like i might, might have left the door unlocked and then someone might have just you know went down the road and just started opening all the doors to see which ones were open and then they managed to take some change and then we were on the way back from coventry and leaves was like can i have a gummy bear I was like, yeah, yeah. I went to open the glove box and there were no gummy bears. So they took Elisa's gummy bears and some change. And then later on, I went to reach for some chewing gum, which is normally by the gear stick, gear box, gear stick in, in the middle, basically. Um, I went to reach for some chewing gum and there was no chewing gum there. <laughs> so they must have taken gummy bears, chewing gum and the change. So random. It's a good thing I don't keep cash or anything like that in my car but i did remember that i had left my iphone 8 my old iphone which Issa sometimes watches in the car behind the driver's seat you know there's like a pocket behind the driver's seat i left it in there so i checked in there to see if it was still there and it was so alhamdulillah they didn't take that but how weird is it that somebody was in my car and took some things out of my car and it was parked on my driveway this whole time too how weird so weird Anyway, I just thought I would tell you that little story about what happened the other day. But anyway, I'm going to end this video now. I just thought I would let you know what happened. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.